Hello everyone! 안녕하세요! Welcome back to Christine's Fun Fun Korean Conversation. And today we're going to take a look at lesson 6 at the restaurant. If you have chance to travel to New York or Asia countries, what <coughs> excuse me, what things you usually do? Besides taking a picture and buying souvenirs or shopping. The thing is to eat traditional food, isn't it? Like for instance, uh, in my experience, I went to Chicago twice because I love Chicago. And what the most famous food in Chicago? Chicago pizza, isn't it? So when I went to Chicago, the first thing I did was to eat Chicago pizza. So I know the taking a picture, shopping, other things are really important and that's really fun, but this um, eating like foreign countries, traditional food is also one of really important parts in your trip. Isn't it? So today we're going to learn, learn about the expressions regarding at the restaurant. When you order people, when you order, order not people, I'm sorry, when you order food and when you choose menu. So regarding all this situation, I prepared four different expressions. At the restaurant, the first expression is what should we eat? What should we eat? So you have a company, Korean company, and you went to the restaurant, and you, you, don't, you don't know what to eat. So you ask your friend or a company, what should we eat before you choose menu, right? What should we eat? And then after choosing the menu and order food, please give me up. Oh, Please give me what? Please give me. You learned this from the last lesson. I will tell you later. You have to remember this, okay? And the third one, bon appetite. Bon appetite. It's a one of traditional etiquette. Like when you're treated by Korean people, like dinner or lunch, and after eating all delicious food, we always say bon appetite and thank you. Okay? So you have to know this expression too. And last one, it's really delicious. Korean food is really delicious. If you never tried before, you have to try that. Go to a Korean restaurant and try Korean food and you automatically say, it's really delicious. Okay, so we are gonna learn about what should we eat? Please give me bone appetite and it's really delicious. All right, so let's start with what should we eat? What should we eat? Okay, let's look at what. What. What in Korean is what. 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 So you pull your mouth a little and say what. What? What? Okay, so what? And should we eat? Should we eat? Is 먹을까요? 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 One more time. 먹을까요? 먹을까요? So. What should we eat? What should we eat? 뭐 then 먹을까요? 뭐 먹을까요? 뭐 먹을까요? All right. So you enter the restaurant and there are a lot of delicious dishes on the menu, and you don't know what to choose. And ask Korean friends, 뭐 먹을까요? What should we eat? They look all delicious. They all look delicious. 뭐 먹을까요? What should we eat? 뭐 먹을까요? Alright? When you speak this kind of long sentence in Korean, as I said, take it slowly. 뭐 먹을까요? 
오케이? 뭐 먹을까요? What? We use this expression a lot. So, what time is it now? You will learn this later, but what time is it now? Or what are you doing? So, what is used in almost every situation. So, what is really important? So, don't forget this. What and should we eat? 먹을까요? So, what should we eat? What 먹을까요? Then, you ask your friend, Oh, here's an example. What should we eat? 뭐 먹을까요? And I picked the really famous menus in Korea, but these two is for you. These two are really for you. So pizza, pizza in Korea, it's a borrowed word. So we just call this pizza, pizza, pizza 먹자. Let's eat pizza. So pizza is pizza, pizza, and hamburger. Hamburger. In, in, in America, you call this hamburger, but in Korean, hamburger. Hamburger. We, we don't have R sound, so we just say hamburger, not hamburger. Hamburger. It's Korean hamburger. Hamburger. Pizza is pizza, and hamburger is hamburger. And what do you think the most famous Korean food is? That's right. Bulgogi and bibimbap. Right? Bulgogi, bulgogi and bibimbap. What's bulgogi? Korean barbecue. And what's bibimbap? It's a rice with a spicy sauce and a lot of vegetables. It's really, really delicious. I recommended this menu to my American friend and she loves it. Believe me, you have to try this menu. Okay, so bulgogi and bibimbap. So, and you ask your friend, what should we eat? 뭐 먹을까요? And you're gonna choose the menu. And next, you have to order food. Okay, you have to order food. Oh, please give me. Oh, I know this expression. I think we, I learned this from the last lesson. Let's look at. Oh, before then, when you're in the restaurant, you always call waitress or a waiter. Excuse me, we are ready. Right? Excuse me. In Korean, 저기요. 저기요. One more time, 저기요. So, when you're ready to order, call the waitress, 저기요, 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 and they will come and ask you, so, what are you gonna eat? 저기요, after saying this, and please give me, what's please give me? It's 주세요, remember? At the supermarket, you said, please give me water. What's water? Mool. So you learn this as mool chuseyo. But instead, instead of the like that products, we put food. The name of food here. So please give me is chuseyo. Chuse. I, I said it's really important. So remember this chuseyo. So after calling waitress, saying chogio, raise your hand. Chogio. And please give me something 주세요. Something 주세요. Are you guys following me? Okay, good. Let's take example for your more understanding. Please give me 불고기. So now, okay, I want to try 불고기. So I want to take it. So I'm ready. 저기요, excuse me. And please give me 불고기. Please give me bulgogi, Korean barbecue. What's bulgogi? Bulgogi. Same. Bulgogi, please give me 주세요. 주세요. Alright, so please give me bulgogi, bulgogi, 주세요. Oh, however, you're not alone at the restaurant. You have company and you want to order more than two dishes. Oh. 
I don't know how to say this and that or like bulgogi and bibimbap or pizza and hamburger. I don't know. I've never learned that before. So that's why I prepared this expression. Please give me bulgogi and bibimbap. What's and? And is ha ko. Ha ko. One more time. Ha ko. So when you order more than two dishes or more than one dish, you usually say something and something. Right? So in this example, please give me bulgogi and bibimbap. In Korean, bulgogi first, bulgogi, and what's and? Ha go, ha go, and bibimbap, bibimbap. And please give me, 주세요, 주세요. All right, now you know. Please give me in Korean, and you, you can read the menu, but here the very important thing is and. And if you're at the restaurant alone, you don't have to use this one, but when you have a company, you have to order more than one menu, one dishes, right? So please give me bulgogi and bibimbap. So bulgogi and... 하고 불고기 하고 비빔밥 Please give me 주세요 주세요 Alright, one more time 불고기 and 하고 비빔밥 Please give me 주세요 Make sense? Okay, good and next expression, bon appetit. I've never heard this expression in America, honestly. But in Korea, when you're treated like by your friends, when you're treated to dinner or lunch by your friends, we usually say bon appetit. Thank you, bon appetit. Bon appetit is in Korean, 잘 먹겠습니다. 잘 먹겠습니다. One more time. Oh, I think I had mis I made a mistake. Not after dinner and lunch. Before you eat the food. Okay, so there is a dish and before you eat it, we say bon appetite. But I told you after eating lunch and dinner. I'm sorry, it, it's my mistake. So before you eat the like dish or food, just bon appetite, right? So, 잘 먹겠습니다. 잘 먹겠습니다. One more time. 잘 먹겠습니다. Bon appetite. Okay, so, oh, your friend invited you to the dinner and you went there and oh there are a lot of Korean food and okay let's say it and say this first Bon appetite in Korean 잘 먹겠습니다 but it's a little fast for you right so 잘 as I said take it slowly 잘 먹겠습니다 all right good and the next one it's last expression of today it's really delicious. It's really delicious. It's delicious. In Korean, 맛있어요. 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 So like, imagine that you are in the table with your friend, dinner table with your friends, and after saying bon appetite, 잘 먹겠습니다, and take a bite. Mm, it's so delicious, right? It's delicious. 맛있어요. 맛있어요. If you just say this one expression to your Korean friends who treat you dinner, they will be so happy to hear it. 
Oh, 맛있어요. It's it's delicious, right? 맛있어요. But when you like when you want to say it's really delicious, it's really delicious. What's really? 정말, 정말. Really, 정말, 정말. You think this is the best food you've ever had? It's really delicious. It's the best. It's rock. 정말, really, 정말. So, it's really delicious. How can you say this? It's delicious means in Korean, 맛있어요. 맛있어요. But there, add it, really. So, 정말 맛있어요. I said really is 정말. So, 정말 맛있어요. So, it's really delicious. 정말 맛있어요. 정말 맛있어요. Remember, this expression is also important. And as I said, Korean food is 정말 맛있어요. So you have to try Korean food. Okay? Now, we are done with four different expressions regarding at the restaurant. And what's the next I usually do is to review the expressions for you. Review. What should we eat? What should we eat? What was what? What is what? What? And should we eat? Good. 뭐 먹을까요? 뭐 먹을까요? So when you memorize these expressions, you know, for, for more helpful, like you just uh, imagine that you're in the you're at the restaurant and you want to decide the menu. Okay, so imagine you're at the restaurant in Korea, then you're gonna choose the menu, but you don't know what to eat and ask Korean friends what should we eat? 뭐 먹을까요? 뭐 먹을까요? And you decided to have 불고기 and your friend decide to eat 비빔밥 and your Korean friend asked you to order the food. So first thing you have to say is excuse me. What's excuse me? 저기요? 저기요? Then order the food. Please give me bulgogi and it's yours and bibimbap. It's for your friend. Oh, here's and. Remember what is and. Good. So this sentence in Korean is bulgogi and ha go. Ha go. Remember ha go. Bibimbap. Bibimba, please give me 주세요. 주세요. Alright? 불고기 하고 비빔밥, please give me 주세요. And, and there is food. And you want to say, oh, bon appetite. It's Korean way. 잘 먹겠습니다. 잘 먹겠습니다. 잘 먹겠습니다. And after taking a bite, you think it's really delicious. It's really delicious. In Korean, 정말, really. 정말, it's delicious. 맛있어요. 정말, 맛있어요. Okay. And now we are finished with learning four different expressions, but I want to give you a little about Korean, Korean culture. In America, when you go to a restaurant, even though you're, you just went to, you go to a restaurant with your friends, you usually separate ticket, right? So waitress usually ask you, separate or together? In America, you say separate, right? But in Korea, you might not understand this, but in Korea, we usually pay together. Pay together. So sometimes American friends who study abroad in, Amer in Korea, 
make like misunderstand Koreans way to pay the like pay the money for dinner like we usually just okay after eating dinner you just say okay it's on me I will treat you the dinner and oh thank you then next day and next day maybe Korean just friends will buy you dinner but but in the in Korean culture we if we are treated dinner or lunch by our friends and after dinner we pay coffee or other desserts okay so this is I, I know it's a little weird because may, maybe the dinner would be more expensive than dessert but but we don't usually get tickets separated I know it's a Korean culture so so don't get confused with this Korean culture so and don't misunderstand that Korean people are rich they're all rich we are students and we are not rich but it's Korean culture we usually just pay the, the money for dinner for our friends so after eating dinner and or maybe this uh, today my friend bought a dinner for me and next day you can buy dinner for your friend okay so it's like back and forth so it's on me maybe next to dinner you can tell your Korean students it's on me 내가 낼게 내가 낼게 if you say this expression and your Korean friends are so happy or like so happy and so delighted by your kindness kindness okay so remember even though we pay the paid like bills together tickets together it doesn't mean Korean people are not always rich it's just Korean culture okay so remember this expression and use this when you have a chance to have dinner with your Korean friends in Korea or in United States okay so don't get confused with Korean culture and it's the different thing and next topic is shopping so you learn these expressions at the supermarket and the restaurant and then you have to shop you, you have to do shopping in Korea right so I will come back with this expression next time and you did a really good job today and make all the expression yours by uh, by speaking Korean okay and goodbye and 안녕히 계세요